Eric Burgess here, and we've been given a sequence, and we're told to discover if there's a limit and whether or not it converges or diverges. If it converges, they want to know what the limit is. So we look at this and we say, okay, well, here it is. Uh, the two ends on the bottom are a problem because if we try and take the limit right away, right, we'll just get infinity on the bottom, and then the n squared will give us infinity. So we can't leave it like this. So we're going to use the technique where if you just look at this, the highest power of n in the denominator, if we can get rid of that, uh, we can make sure that the denominator is not zero, and then we can uh, see if the limit's easier to take then. So that's what we're going to do. So the highest power in the denominator is n squared. So we're going to divide everything by n squared. So we have 3 divided by n squared plus, and then 5 n squared divided by n squared is just 5 over n squared n divided by n squared, that's just um, 1 over n, and then n squared divided by n squared is 1. So we'll take the limit of this. So the limit as n goes to infinity of this thing, well, that's going to be equal to, and we're going to get 3 over infinity, which is 0, plus 5 over 1 over infinity, which is 0, plus 1. And so we're going to get 5. So we say it converges, converges, and the limit of the sequence, the limit as n goes to infinity of the sequence a n is equal to 5. That would be our answer. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos, and we'll catch you in the next problem.